The Great Eagle, one of the largest predators in the bird kingdom. They live in all places, including high mountains, and dominate the vast sky. Although their size is quite modest compared to terrestrial carnivores, the eagle is not inferior to in combat. Today, let's check out the episode where the fierce battles of the African forest eagles destroy leopards. To be able to fight their dangerous enemies, the eagle needs to meticulously calculate every attack. Just one mistake can cost it its life. Observing three cubs hunting below, playing with their mother. The eagle perches on a high cliff, waiting for the opportunity to attack. Patiently. When the time comes, the eagle spreads its wings and soars above the sky. The leopards quickly realize something is wrong screaming for help, but it is too late. Rushing in at high speeds, the eagle quickly captures the cub. The large body plus the ability to fly makes it incredibly easy to catch their prey. After that, the Lord of the Sky puts the leopard's cub high in the treetops to devour the carcass or what is left of it. Seeing that her child is missing, the mother decides to chase up the tree trunk after the eagle. This is a risky climb, going from branch to branch. The leopard's tree climbing skills are professional, but might not be enough. Soon, it had climbed up all the way to the eagle. It only takes a few mere minutes for the eagle to capture the enemy. Now the leopard must fight back. Quickly the leopard has grabbed at the eagle, desperately trying to climb down the tree, taking revenge for the lost life of the leopard's cub. There can only be one winner in this drastic fight. A bird has just come out of the nest looking for food and for its young. The image we captured is the attention of the leopard scouting below, quickly moving up the tree trunk to the bird's nest. It's probed for a while, noticing that there are other birds inside, fast asleep. The leopard must quickly duck its head inside, pulling out one of the young. The birds perch on a nearby branch, witnessing the entire scene, not daring to attack. As the leopard has attacked the prey, taking it back to another tree branch to enjoy. The eagle stands by closely watching the leopard that has lost its mother on the ground. Determined that the mother is not nearby, it spreads its wings, swooping down to grab the prey. The mother begins to return home, witnessing that her child is gone, screaming in desperation. Another battle takes place. This time, the eagle's target is a small baby leopard. It must use its strong legs and sharp talons to quickly land and grapple on to the prey. The mother takes note of this. Now, she must immediately approach and take revenge against the bird. Climbing to the treetops, it must quickly kill one of the eagles, taking revenge on the mother.
scouting for an opportunity to attack. The leopard is stuck in the tree. Excellent hunting skills give them quick agility. Yet, they are no match for the flying eagle. The young cub has lost its life. The mother wailing out in pain. With incredibly sharp pines, the hedgehog is not an easy prey for any animal. That's why when encountering large carnivores like lions and jaguars, the hedgehogs are still not a leisure meal. This pack of young lions has encountered one. Yet the king of the jungle is no match for this strong and yet slow hedgehog, cautiously moving about. The sun has set and they still continue to try and attack, yet they cannot. A herd of wild boars comes out of their den, quickly attracting the nearby eagle, trying to find shelter, yet in the dust there is none. Three piglets are spotted by the eagle. Unfortunately, one has been caught while the others have escaped safely. Eagles must use their sharp talons to grip at their prey until it suffocates. The exhausted wild boar must surrender to the eagle. But due to the weight of the prey, the eagle cannot simply climb up or fly away with its meal. He must spread his wings wide, covering the prey. Every now and then, it stops midway, nervously glancing around to make sure that no other threat is present. Another war breaks out between the lion and the piglet. They are chasing the young pig across the field. Desperate for a chance of survival, the piglet is caught by the herd of lions. According to researchers, the Pantanal area in Brazil is home to the largest population of otters in the world. The area offers a unique semi-aquatic habitat, home to all kinds of wildlife. It's known that while jaguars are ferocious terrestrial animals, they even plunge into the water, eating crocodiles, giant pythons, and otters, dubbed as water leopards. Excelling in the Amazonian waters and outstanding swimming abilities, otters live in groups that are ready to attack any intruder. Crocodiles and jaguars are included. The jaguar shows fear, quickly escaping when faced with a group of otters. They are known as fierce gods of the Amazon. A leopard is being chased by a pack of wild dogs. In the face of aggressors, an overwhelming number appears. The leopard shows sign of fear, rushing away. Fortunately, the leopard's good game advantage helps him to find a vantage point in the tree, escaping the bloody pursuit. Thanks to their good climbing characteristics, leopards, when hunting prey, can often carry them up into the tree and devour their prey there. This is to avoid being robbed of their dinner, such as predators from the lions, hyenas, and African wild dogs. Today, these wild dogs are not so lucky. If they fight hard enough, they might enjoy a leopard meal.
on the mighty Amazon River, the Cayman crocodile has been known as a fearsome carnivore. Some other enemies, along among others, are giant otters. When the crocodile is spotted, the adult members of the otter family bravely move towards their opponent. Juveniles try to swim away. After approaching an access point, the adult otters split up and surround the crocodile. When the adult otters have the upper hand, the children know they can join in to defeat the terrible crocodile. After a long struggle, the crocodile eventually gets died up by the otter's family. They are enclosing on the crocodile. Countless fatal bites to the head, neck, and back. The otters are out looking for food, and they have caught sight of the leopard's target in the ambush. The great tiger is walking through the forest, coming across the bear. Very quickly, he determined that this would be his hunting target today. The tiger actively approaches, breaking the peace. The black bear is spotted. He's belonging to the Tibetan black bear breed, a large animal. Despite the bear's effort to threaten, the tiger still approaches quickly, controlling the prey with his muscles and sharp claws. In one segment, the tiger bites the bear on the back and neck, and he tries to flip him upside down. However, the bear's strength and toughness helps him hold out in battle. He actively gathers himself into a mass not to get into a dangerous situation. Although this choice makes it almost impossible to harm the tiger. After exhausting himself and still unable to defeat his enemy, the tiger shows fatigue, wanting to give up. The bear regains his initiative. He uses the remaining strength to rush forward, chasing the fleeing enemy. Tigers are obviously strong, but they still can't deal with a big and powerful opponent like the wrestler bear. Freezing temperatures on the coldest day of the year still don't stop the otter from diving deep into the Norfolk River. Now he can catch his unfortunate prey. Once the fish is locked between his jaw, he can devour his dinner in a very aggressive manner, chomping at every bit destroying the fish. Fish are the otter's main source of food. They can hunt for many hours a day without an end. Otters must have a fast metabolism, keeping them warm on the long days amongst the cold waters. They must eat about 15% of their body weight daily this rate can easily increase in the winter months, keeping them strong, warm, and fit to hunt for more prey. Today's video is coming to an end and thank you for your attention. If you love videos about fighting animals, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the latest content. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.